I'm a fan of watching animation. In fact, is where I get inspiration on how to combine color well. And in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create my version of the Lion King poster. Tunji again from Caesar Graphics, welcome to my channel. If you need the exercise file for this tutorial, simply make use of the link in the description section of this tutorial. So sit back, relax, and keep watching. I'm going to create a new document now. So I'm going to click on File. And I'm going to select New. And I'm going to call this project Young King. And my width is going to be 720. Height is going to be 9. Solution is going to be 72. Follow mode is going to be RG. All right. Now, the reason why I'm using all these settings here with the frame with the frame size is because I'm posting this on Instagram. So I'm using the Instagram frame size for this project. So I'm going to leave every other settings the way they are and click on the create button. So I'm going to drag my background and drop here and hit the enter key. I created this background for you guys so as to save time and I'm going to drag the image of Simba and drop here now. I'm going to add the layer marks to the project because I'm going to be taking out part of the layer here. So I'm going to select the brush tool and go to the brush settings and select the soft round brush. Increase my brush size. Now make sure that your foreground is set to black like mine here. And if you have another color here, simply click on this icon here. So I'm going to just apply the brush to the layer like so. I'm going to gently apply it here. So I need to make part of the leg visible. So I'm going to switch to white here and it, I reduce my brush size and apply the brush to the layer like so. I'm going to switch to black again and just apply that here. We can even reduce the flow because it's always good to control the strength of your brush. So I'm going to gently apply that here now so as to, have, so as to make it have that dust. Uh, effect. So I'm going to gently apply it to this side. I'm going to gently do that. Alright, so I'm going to select the thumbnail of the Simba layer and I'll go to filter, stylize and select oil paint filter. I'm going to make my stylization 3.6 cleanliness is going to be 3.0 scale is going to be 1.3 then i'm going to select the ok button so the whole idea of doing this is i want to be able to create that smooth coily effect on the face of my subject okay doing that is part of what will help the making the project look the way i want it i'm going to make a copy of the background layer to create a dust effect on the face of my subject. So I'll go to my blend mode here and select screen. Then I'll change the name of my layer here to Simba. It should be Simba because Simba is the focus here. So I'm going to sell, I'm going to add the layer mask to this. And I'm going to hit Ctrl I to reverse the mask. And I'm going to select the brush to then increase my brush size. Now make sure that your flow is still set to 28 like mine. And make sure that your foreground here is set to white. So I'm going to switch to white here. And I'm going to gently apply the brush to the layer mask of my back of the dust layer. So I'm going to switch to black now and just take it out from this side of the project. Then I'll switch to white again and apply it again. I'm going, so the next thing we're doing is to add the particles, all right? So I'm going to drag that and drop here, and this should be somewhere here. I'm going to position it here and make it bigger a bit, and hit the Enter key. Then I'll make a copy of this. I want to, because I want to have different positioning of the particles. So I'll right click and select Flip Horizontal, and make a copy again. 
and this should be here I can even make this smaller so what I'm gonna do is to put everything here to merge everything together and hit ctrl E on my keyboard and I'm gonna double click on the layer to activate the layer style because we need to change the color of our particles here so I'm gonna select color overlay and make sure that I have the color from my sand here then I'm gonna make this a bit darker so this should be here and I'm gonna select the OK button and I'm gonna hit the OK here so the next thing I'm gonna do now is to drag and drop desert image to the project so I'm gonna do that now by going to the exercise file and drag and drop here so I'll right click and flip this horizontal I'm gonna rotate this and just position it here I'm gonna scale it a, a, a bit bigger and I'm gonna hit the enter key then I'm going to activate the pen tool and I'm going to just click here and follow this path now please watch the way I'm going to apply my pen tool to the, to the area where I want to crop out from the desert image because the way you crop this out is also important So I'm gonna I'm gonna just close this and so I'm gonna convert this to a marquee by holding down control and hit enter key still on the layer of the desert then I'm gonna apply a layer mask then the next thing I'm gonna do just drag this up a bit and activate the free transform and make this bigger then rotate it a bit and push it down and I'm gonna hit the enter key then I'm going to add my particles my tiny particles to the project by dragging that and drop here i'm going to make that a bit bigger and i'm going to select the screen blend mode now we need to randomly position this where we want it so before we start making duplicate of the tiny dust i'm going to add a layer max to the layer and then blend the edge of uh, the layer So I'm going to switch to black here and apply the brush to the edge like so and I'm going to position it here then I'll make a copy of this and position it here activate the free transform and just rotate it this way and place it here like so and then hit the enter key add duplicate it again and rotate it and position it here again Then I'm going to shift select all the layers and hit Ctrl G to put them in a group. So I'm going to call this tiny particles. So I'm going to add the image of Simba here. So I'm going to drag that and drop here and I'm going to scale this down. I right click and say flip horizontal. Now I know it's a statue if I did not show you guys there's no way you know is a statue so i'm gonna put this down and position it somewhere around it should be somewhere around here so then just position it here like so all right and i'm gonna just hit the enter key then i'm gonna add the curve adjustment to this by activating the curve adjustment here and then i'm gonna click on the clip icon because i only want this to affect the symbol layer right then I'm going to drag this down because we need to um, make this look more uh, a bit like a silhouette, okay? So I'm going to uh, position this here and then do this. Now, the major reason why it's always good to work this way is to create what I call contrast because using the same value of the color on the desert here is not going to make the um, symbol layer visible. So, and that's the reason why I decided to make the symbol layer darker so as to, um, you know, create contrast, like to separate it from the desert um, layer, right? So, then I'm going to add um, a layer max to the symbol layer and zoom in and select the brush to, I'm going to reduce my brush size and just gently take this out and make it look more like the shadow of um, symbol here, right? So, I'm just going to gently put that here. So, yeah, this is good. All right, 
Then I'm going to create a new layer by holding out Alt and click on the new layer icon and call this Simba Dust. Right, then I'm going to hold on Alt and click a color from here and zoom in and just gently apply this here. Now I'm going to reduce the flow a bit more because I don't want the, you know, the dust effect to be too strong on my subject here. Yes, yeah, so I know the color on the project looks ugly, but I'm um, sure uh, before we end this tutorial, you're going to see how beautiful this is going to look, okay? So the next thing I'm doing now is to make the to, is to blend the colors all right so we're going to be using gradient map to achieve that now this part is the most interesting part in this tutorial so i'm going to uh, go to the adjustment tab here and activate gradient map and under my gradient editor here i'm going to scroll down now i already created the gradient map for this project so i'm going to just click on it now for those of you who don't um, really understand how to use this so i have three um you know sliders there now if this is your first time of using this gradient map you are not going to see these three sliders what you're going to have is black and white here and you're not going to have this so to add sliders if you, if you want to add any slider what you just need to do is to click once on any empty area on the gradient editor like this so once you click photoshop will automatically add a slider for you on that um, you know area then i'm going to call, uh, cancel this so delete it just drag it down and then photoshop will delete it so let's see the colors i use here so i'm going to double click on this first and and then if you need the color code the color code for this is 5221a05 i'll repeat again 521a05 so i'm going to click on the ok button and then the location for this is seven so the other slider here is i'm going to double click on it and then we have bd7 f29 i'll repeat again bd7 f29 and i'm going to select the ok button and then the location for this is 51. then on the last slider here i have f1 ce9e i'll repeat it again f1 ce9e so i'm going to select the ok button and then the location for this is 99 so i'm going to hit the ok button and this is what we have now this is not really looking the way i want it so what i'm going to do is to activate curve and i'm just going to add depth to this by you know creating the s curve uh, effect here like so now you see we're beginning to add depth to the project and the project is already looking more uh interesting okay so then i'm going to go to the um color mode here and i'm going to go under green here because i want to add magenta to the project so the opposite of green here is magenta so i'm going to click on this so if i drag this up like so i'm adding green to the project but since i said i want to add magenta to this i'm going to add the opposite of green which is magenta so i'm going to just drag that down and you see we're beginning to see that you know red effect on our project all right so i'm going to just put that here like so all right this is good then i'll go back here and then i'm going to go to blue and then the opposite of blue here is yellow so i'm going to click on this and then i'm going to drag this down to add a bit of uh, yellow to it like so okay then uh, the next thing i'm going to do is to go activate hue saturation and just reduce the saturation a bit like so all right then i'm going to hold on alt and click on the new layer button because we need to add noise to this the noise we're adding is part of what's going to give you that desert look all right so i'm going to call this noise and i'm going to change my blend mode here to soft light and check the fill with soft light neutral color 50 percent gray option and hit the ok button now we need to go to filter and say noise and say add noise here all right so i want my noise to be stronger right so i'm going to just drag this up now you see we're beginning to have that sun that those noise effect desert look on our project all right so i'm going to select the um, ok button all right so what i'm going to do again now is to add curve again because i need to add what i call veneer to the project so i'm going to just drag this down here like so and i'm going to hit um, ctrl i to reverse the mask and select the brush tool and i'm going to zoom out all right and my i'm going to use the soft frame brush here which is this here and i'll increase my brush size okay now this is still small i'm going to just use the square bracket to, uh, to do that and make sure that 
your um, foreground here is set to white so i'm going to click on this icon here and then switch to white here and then i'm going to make sure that this is set to let's say 21 all right so i'm going to just apply that here and just apply here now the whole idea of doing this is to you know put uh people's focus on this um silhouette here all right so i'm just gonna put this here and put this here and, and just add this here and just add it here right so this is good and um yeah so what i'm going to do now is to add my text all right which is the name of the uh, movie or the title of the movie i'm going to drag that and drop here and position this here like so all right and i'm going to hit the enter key then i'm going to create a new layer and now i'm going to just sample a color from here like so sample a color from here and hit the ok button and select the brush tool and just click once now my flow needs to go back to 100 and i'm just going to click once and hold on alt then position my mouse in between the new layer which is the layer i just applied the brush to and the uh, title and make sure that you have the icon with the arrow facing down with the box before you click all right so i'm going to click now and then you see that my glow is clipped inside the title all right then we can even create another layer again and just call this glow again and i'm going to hold on i'm going to select the you know the brush tool hold on hold and just pick a color from here and just click again and hold on hold and do the same thing and this time i can just activate the free transform and just make this go smaller and hit the enter key like so all right don't i zoom in now we have ourselves a movie poster all right wow i'm glad you made it to the end of this tutorial and i can wait to see your version of this tutorial so if you have it kindly post it on your instagram page and remember to tag me my instagram handle is at scissor graphics and if you have not subscribed remember to hit the subscribe button and remember to click the post notification bell so you get notified when i post my tutorial share like and comment on this video and i'll see you again in the next one Peace.